There I am. In a room with my coach and it's the end of the first year. I am 12 points short of getting my first year diploma. Two points short of moving on to the second year and my problem was I didn't know how to study. Life changed from a test on one chapter to a test on three different books for starters. It was tough and I had no idea. I had no idea as on where to start. And even though I tried so hard, the examination board wanted to kick me out because I didn't apply to the norm. And I kept my fingers crossed, but hope seemed lost. But then I did get a second chance. I was allowed to advance to the second year. And this year, I started to learn how to learn. Not as much what to think, but how to think. It all started to come together. The brilliance and the inconsistence of the letters and the characters, the vowels and the syllables colliding to make something binding, colliding to make something understood. And hope came back. For hope is something we travel towards. It's our destiny and this Christian university has an identity that gives hope from a person who is hope unseen but forever present. For why would one hope for that which he already sees? See, hope stands between faith and love. Where faith are the roots, love is the fruit and hope connects those two. Now this identity relaxes, for it doesn't depend on me or you. Hope is like the sun, which as we journey towards it casts the shadow of our burdens behind us. It shapes character as we go through tough times. Hope is the mentality that puts cynicism aside and strives towards the goal. Graduating for me means being successful, being hope to the community we came from, giving back hope as a person, giving back the hope of Christ. Christ, the cornerstone of this college, a man with an amazing amount of knowledge, probably the single most inspiring teacher. Loving God and others is what we've learned from this preacher. Now another man named Albert Einstein once said, education is what remains after one is forgotten everything he has learned in school. For we have not learned some things, we have been shaped to be somebody, shaped to believe in hope, shaped to be a believer and stand in the real world, having our own opinions on the things we heard. And the way I see it, the person of hope gave the school a goal, which made the school the tool to create and shape its students to become his instrument, strong and ready. And when the question is raised in the world of tomorrow, who do you want to be? I... I want to be me.